This video is about the three chess sets we've got on eBay at the moment and the instant chess set collection. A travel set in the Stoughton Manor, a bone set in a 19th century style, quite an interesting 19th century style, and a St George pattern set in wood and boxwood and ebony, and a period chessboard. Now this is what most people regard as a standard chess set. It's used in congresses to play chess, competitions, it's a plastic set and uh, the price is very reasonable, we don't sell them. However, that's what most people think of as a chess set and this is a Stoughton pattern design. <coughs> Designed we think by Nathaniel Cook in 1849 or thereabouts or slightly before. However, this, apart from this travel set which is um, Second World War period, these two sets are both from the 19th century and either predate or in the early days of this stone pattern design which was uh, launched in 1849. So here we have a, a rather nice little travel set and it's in it's in the Stoughton Manor. It's a slightly modified Stoughton style set and we can see that it's very well made for the size. It's a small size, little peg pieces that go in the board the board's been inlaid in some other material that's been dyed pink and one side is in uh, what appears to be ebony and the other side is in what is certainly boxwood but the king's very nicely made and it says on the, on the box Victory, which we assume is the Second World War and Posket Chess now whether that's a misprint for Pocket or whether Posket was some some personage or not we don't know, we simply don't know so and it all fits together with a wooden thing in the back. Now this St George pattern set is a slightly different kettle of fish as you can see the design is nothing like the one that we come to know who you knows and regard as standard. This predates that or it worked alongside it at the same time and you notice that the Queen has got a ball instead of a coronet and that's because He's wide. And that's because the queen was regarded just as a large pawn that you could promote the pawn to a queen, so the queen had to look a bit like a pawn. So you've got these pieces which are a little unfamiliar, but they're not that unfamiliar. The, the knights, very nicely carved, carved at the lathe. This is not some sort of handcraft thing. Um, they were carved at the lathe. There's a, a black one with the with the peg that fits on, so it was fastened onto something and carved at the lathe with various cutters at the lathe and sure it took only a few minutes to carve but here we have the rooks, nicely made rooks they look you know not unlike the not unlike the sets in uh, Stoughton sets so knights and bishops and rooks all, all fairly similar the queen's slightly different, the king's slightly different and the pawns have this, this old fashioned style so this is a fairly nice 19th century St George pattern set and um, and we think it's probably uh, mid to late 19th century. Now here's a, here's, a, here's a bone set. And this bone set, as you can see, has the ball for the Queen in the same manner that the St George pattern set was. And this was standard, but it has had this ribbing, this comb work ribbing on the stems, which is quite, quite unusual. And it has very well made knights. Considering such a small set, it's obviously rather better made than, than, than most of these sets and of course it all screws together in various different ways these pieces were made in two or three parts screw together at the lathe and um, the knights also were screwed screwed onto the onto the stem which is unusual in a set like this and I have to say we come across these occasionally when I, when I worked in London came across these occasionally and of course this is the sort of leg bone of an animal, a cow, possibly a horse, but more, more likely a cow, where the sections came from. So the the bases the bases were cut from this part, the flat part, and the stems of the pieces were cut from this part. And of course you would take a larger bone to get the thickness on the kings and queens. Nowadays animals are slaughtered at, at 30 months and you can't get the thickness, you've got to go for milk cows, but in the old days of course animals had thicker bones. They were fed also on, on, on grass mostly and, and they got a lot of uh, cows.
calcium in the diet as well. So, so it's a very interesting little set, very well made. Um, and the Nikes in particular are, are, are really quite attractive. So these are the three sets that we've got. There's Victory Posket set, we've never seen another one like it. Um, we've no idea who made it or why, and it's obviously very professionally made, so it wasn't just a, some sort of guy that had a go at something, it's obviously made by some professional firm because of the, because of the quality of the pieces and the way it, it fits together. And it has a little sort of latch thing here that latches the top on. And this keeps the pieces in when it's when it's travelling with it. Um, and I think that's basically it. Nice board. It's possibly something like rosewood, satin wood, or something on the squares. It's got the usual edging that you find in the British pub sets. And this is what looks like, funnily enough, on the back it looks like bird's eye maple, but uh, that's an unusual choice of woods. That's what it looks like, so that's what's on offer. It's on eBay right now.